Now let's have a look into the fundamental steps involved in the process of connecting to a database and executing SQL queries. All right. So here are the steps. So first step is import JDBC packages. Next, load and register the JDBC driver. Next, open a connection to the database. Next, create a statement object to perform a SQL query. Next, execute the uh, statement object and return a query result set. Next, process the result set. Next, close the result set and statement objects. And next, close the connection. All right. So if you look at here, these are the eight steps. All right. And let me eliminate few of the steps as per the Java release. All right. So look at here the second step. This step is not required in Java 6 and in JDBC 4.0 because so if if JDBC driver finds a JDBC if if driver class if driver manager class finds a JDBC driver in a class path then it will automatically register the driver all right so we no need to manually or explicitly register a driver uh, uh, in a jdbc code all right so driver manager it itself you know it will scan the driver uh, in a class path and if it finds the driver in a class path then it will automatically register the driver based on the particular database all right and look at here the seventh step so this step is not required because uh, we use try with resource statement to auto close the JDBC resources. So before Java 7, we use final block to close the JDBC resources. But Java 7 provides this nice feature, right? Try with resource statement feature. So, so we can use this feature to automatically close the JDBC resources. So in this JDBC tutorial course, uh, we are using try with resource statement in order to close the JDBC resources. All right. And look at the final step here. So this step is also not required because again, we are, we'll use the try with resource statement to automatically close the resources. All right. Let's have a look. Uh, so from all these steps, we actually require a uh, five steps to connect to a Java application to a database. All right. For example, MySQL database. So the first step is, let me recap. The first step is import JDBC packages, open a connection with the, with the database, create a statement object to perform a query, execute the J a statement object and return a query result set and process the result set. So these are the five steps uh, we required in order to work with, the, uh, you know, work with the JDBC. All right, let's have a look, in, look into each of these steps in detail all right so the first step is import jdbc packages all right so jdbc api classes immediately available in the java program once we import this statement all right java.sql.star and for individual jdbc api classes you need to import like this all right java.sql.connection java.sql.driver manager etc all right and second step is open a connection to the database all right so here you can see these are the overloaded get connection methods available all right based on the parameter you can you can you know you can pass the parameter and you can get a connection with a particular database all right for example uh, if you want to connect to a mysql database then you can use this get connection method and you need to pass a uh, you know jdbc url for that mysql database and username and password for mysql database all right this is how uh, we write a code in order to connect to a MySQL database, right? And the third step is create a statement object to perform a query, right? So we can use a create statement method, uh, you know, to create a SQL statement. For example, notice here, once we get a connection object, then we can use a create statement object, uh, you know, to, uh, to create a SQL statement, all right? And fourth step is execute the statement object and return a query result. All right, so state, once we got the statement object, so statement object provides the execute query method. So we can use this execute query method to execute the queries and it will return a result set object. All right, and the next step is 
uh, we need to process the result set objects, right? So result set object may contain some many rows. So we need to iterate over result set and we get a, a rows or a data from the result set. So these are the fundamental steps that uh, you know that involve in a process of connecting to a database and uh, querying to a database. All right. So let me show you uh, the working example here. All right. So this is the simple Java class. It has a main method. All right. And notice here the steps we have so far we have discuss like uh, the step one is we need to establish a connection with a mysql database all right so this is the step one and step two once we got a connection object we can create a statement object using this connection object you all right so notice here we are using create statement method of connection object to create a statement object and third step is oh, we need to we need to you know execute this query right so once we got a statement object then we can call a execute query of this statement object and uh, we can you know we can execute this query and this method will return a result set object all right and this result set object uh, we can process the result set object in order to get a data and uh, what we what we'll do is we'll just uh, print this data to the console as a row all right so here we are getting a uh, column value into a individual variable and we are printing that uh, variable as a row to the console all right so notice here the sql statement select id name email country password from the user so user is a table and we are just you know retrieving these columns from the user's table so this this is just a, a you know simple demonstration so in further videos I, I am going to demonstrate from the scratch how to develop uh, you know uh, examples using JDBC API. We learn a lot about JDBC, how to create a table using JDBC, how to insert, how to select, how to you know how to update a data in a database, how to delete a data from the database and database transactions and how to perform a batch insert operation, batch update operation, and how to use a prepare statement or, or interface, how to use a statement interface, and a lot of things we'll cover in further lessons, all right? So this is this example is just an I know, demonstration of the fundamental steps that are required to process or, the, or to connect uh, to a particular database and to fire uh, or execute a query and process the result all right so let me quickly run this program and let you let me show you the output yeah here we go all right so we got this data from the users table all right for example this is the id this is the name this is the email address and this is the country and this is the password notice here and we have printed to the console and this this is out how printed this row 